All right, folks, so what if I told you I can fit every single one of these tools into the palm of my hand? Well, actually I can. It's all right here. These are of uh, carving multi-tools. Basically, they have every single one of these tools combined right here into a small compact little tool that you can just literally put in your pocket. These are great for like hikers, campers, and lightweight travelers. There are several different versions of these carving multi-tools out on the market right now, and I have them separated into two different versions. The cheaper versions, and then the more expensive, but still very much worth it versions. Uh, you can also say that it's like made in China versions and made in the new US. All right, so let's go over the cheap tools really quick. I'm gonna start off with this Bushmaster Classic Whittler's pocket knife. I'm gonna go over it really quick. This is the most expensive of the cheaper tools. I'm gonna be honest, it has terrible quality control. Like the tip of the knife is awful. Plus one of the, the scorp tools is ground really improperly. It's unusable. And even like the stock image that you like find on Amazon when you buy it shows it improperly ground. The tool is basically useless. It belongs in the trash. So don't buy it. The next one that we're gonna go over is one that we've all probably seen quite a bit. It is the Old Timer 24 OT Splinter. It's been around for quite a while. It's a decent tool. It's a copy of the original flex cut carving jack, which I did a comparison video of these a while ago, but to make things short, you're gonna need to reprofile the edges on the tools. I did that with the main carving knife on here. I ground it back a little bit. Also, there's two variants that I've run across with these. I think like an older version came in a box and the newer version comes in like the plastic packaging. Absolutely go for the one in a plastic packaging because I believe it's higher quality. And then the next one we're gonna do is both of these because they're actually the same brand, but just different sides on them essentially. This is a Smazin Star. I, I don't know, some Chinese brand thing. It is basically a direct copy of the old timer one, especially when you're looking at the, the wooden handled version, but it's all the same exact tools and the old timer. But the thing is, it's actually has better fit and finish. The edges on the blades are actually ground down properly. So all you need to do is just do like final honing on them and make it work a little bit better. If I were to get any of the cheaper ones, I'd definitely go with this company just because it's it has a better fit and finish than the old timer one and way better than that other one that we're not gonna mention anymore on this channel ever again. Not only that, they come with a little kit with, that comes with wood and slice resistant gloves, which is great. All right, so let's go over the expensive, but actually very much worth it carving pocket tools here. This section is primarily dominated by flex cut because well, they make the better versions. I'm not sure if anyone really wants to try and compete with them. It's a very small niche product, so it doesn't really require a whole bunch of people in there. We're gonna start off with the carving jack. This one is, in my opinion, by far the best pocket carving tool on the market today. It has six tools in total, and the predecessor to this one is actually what all the other cheaper tools were copied from. So this one is actually the king of all the tools in general. All the blades come in razor sharp. All you need to do is just hone it and maintain it. There's no need to bring it to a sharpening stone or anything like that. Great quality all around. Not only that, the carbon jack version has both right and left-handed versions. So these scorp tools and the scoops, they have it so that if it's form packed of a right-handed person, and then the left-handed version has them going in the opposite direction. So left-hand dominant carvers will have something to go for. Not only that, they come with a leather sheath to store it so you can put it on your belt and also a custom made slip strop meant for these tools, which allow you to keep the tools nice and honed, razor sharp. One of the other cool thing that these have is also a locking blade. So it has a lock on the back. So all you have to do is just like put it in and it won't open and close until you press the lock. And then you can just open and close it that way. All right, next one that we have here is the flex cut pocket jack. This is basically the little brother to the carving jack. Instead of having six tools, it has four for the more common and more popular ones that you're going to run across. So you got a regular blade, V-scorp, gouge, and a gouge scorp. It'll cover all the basics that you're going to need. If you're on a budget, but you run a really good one, get the pocket jack. It's a great option. Same quality control as the carving jack. Matter of fact, some of the tools are exactly the same on here. Only thing is it doesn't come with all the accessories that the carving jack does. So when you buy it, it's just literally coming with the tool by itself, which also saves you on some money. And just like the other one, it has locking blades on it. And then finally, we had the spoon jack. This is perfect for the spoon carver on the go. It'll literally have everything that you need to start carving with. Great little tool. You have basically three different kind of scoops in here. You got a, a variable radius scoop on here. Then you have the standard scoop and then like a, a scorp gouge on here. Plus it comes with a nice little pelican knife, which is great for slicing off wood. It also has the same quality control as the other guys and also the same locking blade on it, which is 
absolutely wonderful. And again, unfortunately, these don't come with anything else in there, just like the pocket jack. It's just a simple tool, which again, saves you some money. All the FlexCut tools I'm showing on screen right here are the upgraded 2.0 versions, but they also have the standard 1.0 versions available as well. If you want to see a video comparing the two, I have that on the channel as well, and I'll, I'll have it below for you. Now, if I had to buy just one of each of the tools in each category, these are the two that I'd probably pick up. On the cheaper side, I'd probably get the Smazen, how, I don't know how the heck you say that, Smazen Star thing, whatever. I'm probably mispronouncing it, but I don't care. Even though it's on the cheaper end, it's actually decent. I would gladly buy this. Just touch up the tools a little bit more and then you're good. Plus it comes with extra supplies. So you're not starting with just a tool. You get to actually get some wood to carve with and whatnot as well. But if you aren't on a budget and you want probably the best version, the FlexCut Carbon Jack is by far the best on the market. It has all the bells and whistles in it. Plus it comes with extra supplies like the slip strop and the slip strop alone is just key to keeping this one nice and sharp because it's a custom made slip strop for these tools. But as always, thanks for watching everybody. I have some more videos in regards to some of these tools down below. So go ahead and check those out. Have a good day.